148 Praise the Lord Praise the Lord from the heavens Praise Him in the heights Praise Him all His angels Praise Him all His host Praise Him sun and moon Praise Him all you shining stars Praise Him you highest heavens and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for He commanded and they were created. He established them forever and ever. He fixed their bounds, which cannot be passed. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea monsters and all deeps, fire and hail, snow and frost, Stormy wind fulfilling his command. Mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild animals and all cattle, creeping things and flying birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the earth, young men and women alike, old and young together. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for His name alone is exalted. His glory is above earth and heaven. He has raised up a horn for His people. Praise for all His faithful, for the people of Israel who are close to Him. Praise the Lord. Psalm 148 is the third of our five Alleluia Psalms. It too begins and ends with Alleluia, Praise the Lord. It is used by the liturgy of the Church on the solemnity of Corpus Christi, the body and blood of Christ, in token of the praise offered to Him by all creation, in heaven and earth. In a magnificently choreographed cosmic procession, all creatures pass before the Creator. Verse 1 is parallel to verse 7. Praise to Yahweh from heaven and praise to Yahweh from earth, dividing the psalm into two parts. Verses 1 to 6, praise to Yahweh from heaven. There are the singers in heaven, the angels, sun, moon, shining stars, highest heavens, and the waters above the heavens, the rain. Their praise dwells on creation and the divine laws by which they are governed. Verse 5 is parallel to verse 13. Let them praise the name of the Lord. These lines close the list of creatures called upon to praise God. Verses 7 to 12. Praise to Yahweh from earth. There are 23 singers. If verse 7 is rendered as sea monsters in all deeps instead of sea monsters and all deeps, it gives us the number 22 which is the number of letters in the Hebrew alphabet, a kind of alphabetical list of beings who should praise God. To cover all of creation, a very vivid use of classification and opposites has been made. Earth versus sea, fire versus snow, hail versus frost, tall mountains versus low hills, fruit trees and non-fruit trees, wild animals versus domesticated animals, animals that creep on the ground versus birds in the air, kings and princes and rulers on one hand and ordinary people on the other, young men and women, the old and young. Verses 13 to 14 form the conclusion wherein all are called to praise God, both for His divine transcendence and yet His closeness to His people. This grand use of lists in this choral psalm is characteristic of ancient Near Eastern wisdom. It aims at exalting the whole of reality as a harmony willed by God, and all reality responds in praise to God. This theme rings out clearly in many instances, 
Psalm 104 is similar. The canticle of the three young men found in Daniel chapter 3 verses 52 to 90 also echoes Psalm 148. Another hymn that mirrors this psalm is the canticle of Brother Son by Saint Francis of Assisi. In this lyrical masterpiece, Saint Francis expresses his brotherly love for all inanimate creatures. He calls for praise of the sun, moon and stars and the elements of wind, water, earth and fire and even sister death. He praises God for all who suffer sickness with patience, for all who forgive their enemies and all who meet sister death with courage and die in submission to God and free from mortal sin. Be praised, my Lord, through those who give pardon for your love, through our sister bodily death, both to those who die in mortal sin. Blessed are those whom death will find in your most holy will. Verse 13 Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. Psalm 102.21 so that the name of the Lord may be declared in Zion and His praise in Jerusalem. The name that alone is exalted was given to a child thousand years before his birth. In the prophecies that followed, every name he was given was significant because they were names none on earth could ever merit. He was to be the Messiah, the Christ, the Anointed One, Yeshua, Jesus, the Saviour, He who is sent, a King, a leader, chosen and sacred. Many of the names by which He is known were given by Prophet Isaiah some seven centuries before His birth. The world already knew His name. Isaiah 9.6 For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forever. Isaiah 2.11 The haughty eyes of people shall be brought low, and the pride of every one shall be humbled, and the Lord alone will be exalted on that day. Isaiah 52.13 See, my servant shall prosper. He shall be exalted and lifted up, and shall be very high. Isaiah 42 8 I am the Lord, that is my name. My glory I give to no other, nor my praise to idols. In due time, when his birth was announced to Saint Joseph by Angel Gabriel, we read what the name would be and why that name would be given to him. Matthew 1 20, 21 an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. As his journey to the cross draws near, we read in Matthew 26.63 Then the high priest said to him, I put you under oath before the living God. Tell us if you are the Messiah, the Son of God. This is the name of him whose name, as the psalmist sings, is exalted as no other, whose praise reaches beyond heaven and earth. These are almost the very words used by St. Paul in speaking of Jesus' death on the cross. Philippians 2, 9-11 Therefore God also highly exalted him 
and gave him the name that is above every name so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father this is that name of which saint peter said in acts 4:12 there is salvation in no one else for there is no other name under heaven given among mortals by which we must be saved the feast of the most holy name of jesus is celebrated on january 3rd pope gregory the 10th in 1274 initiated a call of the universal church to the special devotion in the 14th century saint bernardine of siena devised a symbol in gothic letters i h s the first three letters of the name of jesus in greek on a blazing sun and painted it on a special wooden tablet i h s i for iota H for eta and sigma here rendered as its roman equivalent s this was to displace the superstitious symbols of the day as well as the insignia of opposing factions the devotion spread and the symbol began to appear in churches homes and public buildings because of the influence of saint bernardine's work The name Jesus was added to the Hail Mary prayer and the feast of the holy name was added to the liturgical calendar. In our times when it is common to hear the Lord's name taken in vain on TV, in movies, in text messages and by our youth as a normal course of conversation, we are called not only to make reparation but to give witness to the wonders of the holy name of Jesus. Saint Bernard of Clairvaux in the 12th century wrote a beautiful hymn on the most holy name of Jesus, Jesu Dulcis Memoria. In the western classical music world, this hymn is well acclaimed through the works of composers like Beethoven, Mozart and Thomas Louis de Victoria. The sweet name of Jesus says saint bernard of clairvaux produces in us holy thoughts fills the soul with noble sentiments strengthens virtue begets good works and nourishes pure affections all spiritual food leaves the soul dry if it contain not that penetrating oil the name jesus when you take your pen write the name jesus If you write books let the name of Jesus be contained in them else they will possess no charm or attraction for me you may speak or you may reply but if the name of Jesus sounds not from your lips you are without unction and without charm Jesus to me is honey in the mouth light in the eyes a flame in our heart This name is the cure for all diseases of the soul. Are you troubled? Think but of Jesus. Speak but the name of Jesus. The clouds disperse and peace descends anew from heaven. Have you fallen into sin so that you fear death? Invoke the name of Jesus and you will soon feel life returning. No obduracy of the soul, no weakness, no coldness of heart can resist this holy name. There is no heart which will not soften and open in tears at this holy name. Are you surrounded by sorrow and danger? Invoke the name of Jesus and your fears will vanish. Lord God you are exalted in the heavens by the angels you are praised by all earth's creatures big and small with all the splendor 
of heavenly worship you still delight in our praises in our small expressions of love as we go through this time of the pandemic we sometimes find it difficult to praise you lord we have so much of suffering around us people gasping for breath lack of hospital beds deaths of loved ones but in and through all of this you are drawing us closer to you may we remember and know deep in our hearts that you are god and your name is holy you created us and you love us we are special in your eyes and you have a plan for us help us to know this deep in our hearts when we are troubled and anxious lord jesus may we call on your precious and holy name every moment of our lives may your name be on our lips may your name be in our thoughts may your name be exalted and glorified through our every action may heaven and earth together acclaim you as lord and king may the praise that is sung in heaven resound in each and every one of our hearts praise you father praise you jesus praise you holy spirit